please know that you're allowed to print the date, name, and address of the petition signer for them. This may be preferable to ensure legibility and match with the information in your voter list. So that's key that you can put, you, like I said, you can print their name, you can put the address. We want to do that because let's say you have a senior, they might not be able to write, you said it's so tiny, they might not be able to write in that in that type of space. I remember my grandma when she was still alive, she had, you know, writing became an issue for her hand because she had arthritis on her hand. This is Landon Day's candidate for the uh, ninth district city council race, primary September 15th. We're getting ready for our petitions, we're gearing up, we got some great volunteers. I'm really excited, uh, we have a great strategy, we're gonna hit a lot of buildings door to door. But what's key is that now we get our petition signed to get on the ballot, but we reach out to the voters and let them know that they have a choice. Your district is? 110th to 150th, 8th Avenue, to, see this weird, to Mad, let's say to Madison, okay? Above 125th Street, it goes from 8th Avenue all the way to the river, to the East River. Below 123rd Street, it goes from Madison to the Hudson River. On the bottom of 110th Street, from Broadway to West End, it goes all the way down to 96th Street. So it looks kind of like a cone, a box, then a little flange on the left bottom. The database, I'm gonna email all y'all. You know, this is a very expensive database. You can put in someone, you can put in an address, and if it shows up on the thing, they're in the district. We're starting the Eye Care Volunteer Program. Go to www.landondays.com to sign up and become a volunteer. I really thank you for all of your support, and please join us. Thank you.